Hi, my name is Anita Wallace, and I'm Chair of the Lymphedema Support Network, and I'm delighted to introduce you to someone that I've worked with for, scarily, nearly 20 years, uh, Professor Peter Mortimer. He's the LSN's Chief Medical Advisor and leading lymphedema specialist, both here in the UK and overseas. So, Peter, what exactly is the advice about having needles or blood pressure cannulas um, in the um, lymphedema-affected arm? Um, the person who posed this question says, you know, I've had conflicting advice and they're waiting for surgery on my good arm. Yes, it's, a, it's, it's been a long-term question, this one, and... Of course, there are a, a number, quite a lot of anecdotal reports where patients have said, uh, my lymphedema didn't occur until I had blood taken from that arm or I had a cannula uh, inserted into a vein. Uh, and then within 24 hours, the uh, lymphedema developed. This is after, for example, breast cancer treatment. And uh, so there seems to be strong an anecdotal evidence that putting a needle in can definitely uh, problem. Um, blood pressure is a little bit more tricky um, in that it's not ideal, but uh, I think the risk from having your blood pressure taken is, is, is that much lower than a needle. There was a, a report um, which the LSN, I think, uh, supported, whereby the Royal College of Anaesthetists mm -hmm. said that uh, wherever possible, needles and blood pressure measurement should be avoided in an at-risk arm. So let's say a breast cancer patient who's had lymph glands removed from the armpit but hasn't yet got lymphedema, everything should be done to avoid needles mm. and blood pressure measurements in that arm. And that's the general advice, and that's just good sense. And exactly. I don't think they, yeah, they portrayed that as, as common sense guideline. Mm. Yeah, and I don't think anyone should argue with that. The problem was that in about four years ago, uh, there was a study showing that actually when they followed a number of patients, uh, who did have needle injections and blood taken and what have you, they didn't find any increased risk of lymphedema. So that threw the, put the cat among the pigeons in terms of uh, allowing um, healthcare professionals just to go on and say, okay, it's no, there's no risk, no risk, we'll, we, can, we can go ahead and do it. Uh, I think my advice, and I think the LSN uh, is the same, is that wherever possible, Mm. avoid blood pressure and needles in your at-risk arm or if you've got lymphedema avoid it. Now that means it's done in the other arm and the patient who asked the question is saying they're having surgery on the on the normal arm yeah which means the anesthetists and the doctors may want to use the the lymphedema arm or the at-risk arm and um if there's no alternative um, to using the at-risk arm, then reluctantly one has to accept it. But I think good sense should prevail and at every opportunity you should avoid having blood pressure or needles into the at-risk arm. The LSM would certainly support that view wherever possible, yes. Yeah. I think the conflicting advice comes because the professionals who don't know anything about lymphedema and their focus is very much on getting this uh, yeah. cannula in the arm. They don't want the patient to suddenly say, oh, don't use that arm because th that professional's used to doing it. So yeah. they don't want their life made any more difficult. And so they often just carry on regardless, which is yeah. not for the patient. No, absolutely. I have met one or two of those, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much.